everyone, and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty right here on APN Gaming, and welcome to our second day of spring here. It's looking nice coming out of the winter. Got a couple of things done. We made a bunch of water vials over there, wooden vials, I guess is what they're called. We did get this planted. Yeah, onions. So there is onions planted here in our new field, and it's right next to our barn. Uh, it might actually be close enough to this to count to. Oh, we do got some technology. Uh, I believe we unlocked the sewing hut. Yeah, sewing hut. So we unlocked that. What can we do with this? Oh, we can make a bag. Oh, we can make some stuff in here. Fur. Ooh. I like that. So some of the stuff we might be able to start doing before winter. So we can actually have a little better... Ooh, simple small backpack. Yeah, we can have a little bit better stuff set up here. Alright, let's... Uh, we don't have a lot of money. We can definitely build that soon though. Our carrots should be ready in summertime, I think. I was going to check that too underneath of our management. It's been a while since I've actually played the last one, so... I'm trying to think of what this means. Status. Lower efficiency farm shed is too far away. Okay, well we kind of knew that one. Um... Farm shed. The barn is right next to it. Why would that have lower efficiency? Maybe because our food storage is further away? I mean, that wouldn't be it, right? Hmm. I don't know. This is all built, right? Let me double check and make sure... There's no, like, repairing that needs to be done. No, we're good. Hmm. Well, I'm confused about that. If anybody knows, let me know. Because this one should be max efficiency. It's right here next to the barn. It is a barn, not a farm shed, but... I don't know, maybe there's a difference with that? First, I gotta remember how to like do stuff. Okay, here we go. Buildings, extraction, woodshed. Yeah, I don't even have a farm shed. If that's even a thing. This is a regular houses. Uh, farming. Oh, farm shed. Building limit exceeded. Okay. I think we have to buildings we got 10 of 10 small farm so to, I don't remember how to develop a, a higher than that I think we just got to complete more missions but I'm not 100% sure either way we have to figure out what we're going to do this episode so I think one of the major things not sticks we need to collect berries because i believe if we collect berries then we can let them spoil and then we can make fertilizer out of them down the road so i believe we had some berry bushes over here somewhere we're just gonna hunt them down Ooh, there's a rabbit let's grab that got him I feel like we had a rabbit trap up here somewhere, too. Maybe not. Alright, let's skin that. That'll be a little bit of meat. Some fur and meat. Ooh, there's a crow. That'll be some feathers for us. Alright. So on our map, it should tell us, did we have, 
So I think just just tells us that we have rabbit here. Kind of curious though. Let's make sure that's not giving us a marker of where our rabbit trap is. Oh, it is. It's right here. Okay. It's got to be pretty old though. Right, let's arm that. So there was berries up here somewhere. I remember collecting them early on in game. There's sticks. They might have been up here further. I probably already walked right by them. But I know berries are good for collecting and throwing them on the ground and they'll spoil. So we can make fertilizer out of them. And I was waiting till springtime to test that theory. I think these are berries right here. Yes. Okay. So we'll collect all of these. We'll have a shoe up for fertilizer. Kind of a neat little tip that I see off of YouTube comment. And look at that. We even upgraded in our survival there. Always good to know little tricks to help progress. Quite a few berry bushes here, actually. They don't really do much for your food. Why? So... They're not really good in that regard, but they are good for when it comes to spoiling for fertilizer. That's what I heard is just drop them on the ground, let them spoil. That was sticks, not berries. And it will benefit us later on. Kind of set it, forget it type thing. So, let me see. Was there more up here? Ooh, there is. Berry. Nope, those are flowers. Ooh, it looks like more right here. We'll go berry collecting. I think we might actually, while we're in the kind of vicinity, we'll go up and see Sambor hereafter. We had to wait some time to go and see him again. We already paid our taxes, I believe, on last episode, so... Now it's just the, uh, the regular grind, keeping things going. I'm really impressed on the actual turnout for these videos. I never really expected it. But the turnout for the videos is actually pretty good. So I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it. I'm helpful. I'm thankful for all the tips and stuff that you guys have been giving on the content as well. There has been a little bit of time between episodes. Uh, I've been working on a big... Uh, a big thing for another series, a big pay-per-view. If you guys haven't been following that one, that's fine. It's a little bit different style. It gets about the same traction as this series does, so... But it's also two different, you know, types of content. You got some broadleaf in there as well. But I've been working on that and really uh, grinding to get that done, so... And starting a new job as well in real life so yeah I've been busy around here but I really want to kind of stay consistent as much as I can to try to make videos for this series because it does get really good uh, reactions from you guys I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it so we'll try to keep up to it as much as we can all right we got all kinds of berries right in here Actually, I'm getting kind of loaded down here, so we might have to call that. And we'll drop these off at the house because I'm really weighed down, so. <clears throat> I would love to get another buffalo again, but they are dangerous to hunt. Like, they can put a herding on us. Next spring, these should be all regrown, these trees that I left the stumps in. I started harvesting stumps too, and then I read in a comment that if you leave the uh, stumps, it, after two years they will grow back, so we've been leaving the stumps ever since. 
just because this is a really good place to get lumber from, and then I can just roll it down the hill to our build here. I'm really liking how the village is coming along. Really enjoying it. We really got to go up a little bit on our dynasty setup so we can build more buildings. So that's one thing. We probably shouldn't have gone with the chicken coop right away. Because food is kind of expensive for them right now. And we don't have the means to make it currently. But uh, it's already built so it's there. Obviously turning this place into a homestead with animals and stuff is our my kind of my main goal for the series really want to you know maybe not make it a well-oiled machine to that extent but just to have a lot of animals and be able to make this into like it's self-sufficient homestead would be kind of neat all right so where do we want to leave these i feel like there's like room in here we don't even use so maybe if we just drop them on the ground in here hopefully they'll spoil in here i think they will Survival knowledge. Let's see. Hmm. Iron liver. High poisoning resistance. I don't think we really need that. 10% more health. That could come in handy. Oh, yeah. We definitely we will put it into survivalist because that one's probably the, the biggest help for us. And unripe berries. We have 438. That's pretty good. Let's drop all those right there. And those will spoil eventually. Okay, so we have some broadleaf and some meat. We really need to make some more bowl as well. Let's uh, put these in here. This in here. And we can kind of make some bowls, I think. I think we, all we need is logs. Maybe, pl probably planks. Mm, let's grab... Oh, I don't want to grab all of those. Let's grab six. So we don't completely weighed down here. Let's see what we need to make some bowls. And then we can make some more food as well. Bowls is... Oh no, it actually is logs. Well, that's simple enough. Alright, we got 32 bowls on us now. So we need meat and cabbage, I believe. To make some more potage. That's what we've been making. Eventually we'll be able to make meat and gravy I think it is. Okay there's seven of those left in there. But potage is probably the easiest thing for us to make right now. Because we already have a ton of cabbage. Uh, what did I do with the... Oh it's on my inventory. I just grabbed it. Duh. Stone campfire required as a torch. Okay, did I... Simple torch. I need one stick and straw. Must have broke my torch. Do we have straw on here? Yes. I think it was 12. There we go. Wasn't it was 10. We'll put our stone in there. Put our stick. Right now we're putting pretty much everything in here. Just because we don't really have a lot of the other stuff that we need. So we'll make. Okay so we'll light the fire with our torch. And then we can craft some of this potage. Oh did I put my meat in here? I think I did. Meat right here. 20 meat. Nice. Alright. Potage. So we can craft six. And we'll put those in our food storage so we can help keep our villagers alive. And those are done. Let's take a look here. Uh, we'll put the meat back in here. And we'll put the cabbage and the potage in here. It's kind of the best food that we can make right now. <clears throat> Once we get a little bit better built, like I said, I'm looking for meat and gravy. We got onions planted up there. And obviously meat is pretty easy to come by. We are going to need some more meat. 
Like we're we're kind of running low on our meat stocks here. I don't know how many potage we even have. I didn't really count. Nine, eight, six. So they're we're doing pretty good on those. We're actually we'll take a couple of these because I'm a little bit hungry, so I'll eat one. That brought our food back up. Only thing is I don't want to carry it with us because it takes up inventory. All right. What I really want to work towards is selling some vials and getting a bat pack because right now our weight is kind of low and we do have a bunch of vials in here. So I think we could easily take not that many, but we might be able to make 200 work. That's 200. Okay, we can make that work. That's not too bad. We'll get a drink of water. And should be good. So, yeah, Sambor, we're going to we're going to hit him up probably next episode, I would guess. Just because I kind of want to get motoring down here, sell these vials off so we're making good money. I think these reeds replenish after a year or two. I mean, we got plenty. There's some going up and down both sides. We need those for our straw usually. So yeah, let's, uh, let's head into town, sell these vials off. If we do see a bag in one of the vendors, I, I might buy it just to increase our weight. So that'll make us a little bit more efficient. But we'll see when we get there. How can I help you? Only the best products here. All right, so there's 300 of that. Let's see what he has. He's got some animal feed. I mean, we could... Oh, that's 300. Uh, let's buy five. And we can put that in the chicken coop for now. Hmm, I'm not going to buy manure. I mean, I don't want to do that quest right now. So that's pretty much... We got 359 for money on us right now. Let's see, this goose is like 1500 Wow. Obviously the babies are cheaper, but... It's also, it takes a long time before you actually get anything out of them. Because they have to get full grown. But maybe that is the route to be take to kind of slow grow a little bit. The other thing is, is I'm not sure with the chicken if it tells you whether it's a male or female when it's a chick. I, I think it does, but I'm not... 100% sure. I don't remember. So that is also going to be another pivotal piece. Because I don't want to buy a baby chick and find out that it's a rooster and we end up with no eggs anyway. Oh, I love the looks of that village over there. Walking back to it. There is a duck here in the water. Can we hit that? Oh, we did. Smoked it. Oh, oh. oh, there we go. Skin the duck. There we go. Not too bad. There's another one right here. Can we smoke that one too? Smoked him. There we go. Oh, did we break our knife? Come on now. Sticks and stones. We need another knife. Thankfully, there's most of that stuff right here. I must miss when it pops up telling me that I broke it. Alright. There we go. Now we'll go back and see if we can find this duck and skin it. Is that an old spear? It is. One of our old spears. There's the duck. Skin the duck.
There's some meat. Not too bad. We got eight on us. That's two ducks. We could probably take another one right there, but let's take this rabbit up here instead. Got him. Is there another one here anywhere? It's a crow. Okay, that's okay. Let's uh, skin this guy. Oop, there's a couple more rabbits right here. Smoked both of those. Matt, man, we haven't missed a shot right now. We're on a roll. There's 12 meat total. That was a headshot. That was perfect. All right. Now we should have our trap right up here somewhere too. Yeah, we can collect that. And our trap is broken. We don't really need to replace it. Because even though it benefited us right there, we really haven't been using it. So we're pretty lethal with our bow and arrow right now. So, all right, we'll put this meat down here. We didn't really achieve a lot this episode, but I mean, we didn't do too bad either. Sold some vials off. We're continuing. There's not really a lot we can do at this moment. We're kind of waiting on our fields to finish up. This one will be ready to harvest come summer. Pretty sure the onions are too. Maybe it's a fall thing, but... Oh, does she need an axe? I bet she does. Sticks and stones. Hold, please. I'll get you an axe. <clears throat> She goes through those axes pretty quick. I'm going to drop another two in there. Uh, sticks. Stone. It's probably not enough to make two. It'll make one. Get her back in the mix here. Alright. Let's put the feathers. Fur. Stick. Stone back in there. I forgot we got our animal feed too. So we'll put that in the chicken coop. That'll be a start anyway. I'm not sure if it goes bad or not. Alright, stone axe right there. She should be good. Yep, they went away. So we're good there. We'll fill this. Oh, it filled it up to 17%. I mean, it's not bad. I don't remember what a chick was for cost, but we might actually do that next episode and get a chick going. Maybe a couple eventually. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much. It is springtime. Look at how nice this looks right now. We are going into our second year here on Medieval Dynasty, and we're, we're getting stuff done. You know, she's got a ton of logs. We can make a ton more vials, so really it's just making the vials and taking them and selling them i wish we could haul a little bit more that's why we're kind of working towards that a little bit but we got 39 logs in here and she's still you know harvesting them so i mean that's all we need her to do right now is keep giving us the logs we'll keep making planks out of them and we'll make our water vials and keep selling them and yeah that's kind of just rinse and repeat at that point so there'll be a little bit more to do as summer hits. We'll have some crops to harvest. Did we plant anything over here? No, we did not. So I'm not sure. I think that's because we're pretty much going to do away with this and move everything up there once uh, this is done. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time here on Medieval Dynasty on APN Gaming. Leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And we will see you guys next time.